it, it's it's getting there. Uh, you know, I was a little concerned uh, to start it off with the corner. You know, it was just as far as uh, when we first started. You know, me, JB, and Pat were the only guys on the roster with any experience. And then uh, luckily we we got a good corner in Denard. Uh, and uh, you know, still building. Jimmy Legree's having a great camp. I'm in a great off season. You know, hopefully he can uh, step up for us. But we're we're building depth, uh, and we'll definitely be ready to ready to go once camp start rolling. Well, do you step on or do you roll with Jimmy? Uh, you know, right now I think we're still trying to work it out. You know, I'm back on the outside, uh, moving into the slot. You know, whenever we go nickel. You know, last year I was more so of the nickel guy or utility guy, however you want to use it. The year before I was outside, so. I think we're still trying to wing it out how uh, how we're going to use. We got so many players in the secondary as far as can play, you know, uh, Rashad, Dayon, Ty, uh, uh, Tony, you know, all those guys. You know, we're, we're going to have to find some type of way we can get all our playmakers on the field. So, you know, whatever the role is, if I'm just going to stay outside, cool. If I'm going to move inside and play the nickel, cool. But, you know, uh, we got a lot of guys that's, you know, kind of anxious to get on the field and, uh, you know, up to the coaches decide on how, how it's going to happen. But everybody uh, going to have their, their role in some type of way where we're all on the field together. It's not that they want to use you more. Uh, you feel any pressure to perform? Now, I've been starting since day one in the league. Uh, I think a lot of people keep forgetting that, but uh, I don't feel any more pressure than it, than anybody else on the team. It, it feels good. It's a good problem to have for sure. You know, you, you I mean, every year, you know, some always happen. You know, whether this guy go down or that guy go down, and you want to make sure your depth's good enough where there's no drop off in talent. Uh, so, uh, you know, this is the time where we can all get better as a group. We can see who can do what. You know, who's better at what. You know, because you know sometimes this guy might not be as good as this player, but he does this better than that player, you know. So we're going to all, you know, find our strengths. And, uh, you know, it's up to Coach Betcher and uh, all those guys on the defensive staff and B.A. and all those guys on the offensive staff just to find out who can do what the best and whatever your role is. And when that situation come up, they expect you to get the job done. You know, I always feel like we, we, we're kind of overlooked a little bit. Uh, you know, I think some people still look at it as a, I don't want to say fluke, but you know they still don't believe you know that the Cardinals as good as the, the record show or good as they've been the last two years. But you know, if you play good, good defense and don't turn the ball over, that's a lot of teams. For I mean, you look at Seattle, you know they play good, good, uh, great defense and they, they just don't turn the ball over and they win. And that's kind of our kind of our philosophy and what we want to get at. So. You know, as long as we keep winning games, I ain't gonna have to do nothing but respect us. I mean, we was nine and one last year, and everybody kept talking like, "Is this the best team in the league?" And like, when you're nine and one in the NFL, yeah, you, if you got the best record, you're the best team in the league. That's just how I look at it. But uh, you know, I, this this team has a lot of confidence. We don't really worry about what the outsiders say. We know what we can do in this room. We know how close we were last year. So we're just looking forward to get things going.